In this video, we are going to solve this question root s square plus 3s minus 28 plus root s square minus 2s minus 8 equal to root 6s square minus 11x minus 22. We are to find the value of x. Let's get into it. How root s square plus 3s minus 28 plus root s square minus 2s minus 8. Now let me move this expression in my right hand to the left hand side. I'll have minus root 6s square minus 11s minus 52 equal to 0. Now to make our work easy, let me factorize each of the expressions under the square root sum. Starting with this first one, I have s squared plus 3s minus 28. I want to factorize that, so I'm going to look for, first of all, let me multiply this by this, which gives me negative 28s squared. I will look for two factors of negative 28 s squared that can add up to the middle term, which is plus 3. So the factors of negative 28 s squared that can add up to this are 7 s and negative 4 s. When we add 7 s and negative 4 s, we have positive 3 s. So when we replace the 3 s now with the factors, so that the expression becomes s squared plus 7s minus 4s minus 28. To factorize this, um, s is common to the first pair, s plus 7. Then the second pair, negative 4 is common, and s plus 7. Okay, we have a common factor, s plus 7. We will pick one, s plus 7, then we group this, s minus 4. Okay, that is the first expression here yeah, in the factorized form. Let me do the same thing for the second expression. The second one is s squared minus 2s minus 8. We're going to factorize this s squared minus uh, times minus 8, rather, is minus 8s squared. Two factors of minus 8s squared that can add up to this middle term will be minus 4s and plus 2s. When we add minus 4s and plus 2s, we have the middle term which is negative 2s. We so are going to replace the middle term now with this factor so that my expression becomes s squared minus 4s plus 2s minus 8. Now, in the first pair, s is common, s minus 4. In the second pair, 2 is common, s minus 4. We have a common factor, s minus 4. Then we group this and this together, s plus 2. Okay, that is the factorized form of this expression on that square root sign. Let's do this last one. Let me do it here, 6s squared minus 11s minus 52 to factorize this again and multiply this this give me minus 3 1 2 s square i look for two factors of minus 3 1 2 s square that can give me the middle term negative 11 s and the factors will be negative 24 s and positive 13 s when I add these two, I'm going to have this middle term, which is negative 11x. So I'm going to replace this negative 11x now with this, so that my expression becomes 6s squared minus 24s plus 13s minus 52. In the first pair, 6s is common. 6s into s minus 4. In the second pair, 13 is common. 13 into s minus 4. That means since we have a common factor of s minus 4, we pick it, then group this other one, 6s and 13 together. Okay.
Okay, so we have factorized each of the expression under the square root sign. Let's go back here and replace the expression with those factorized forms. So starting with the first one. The first one, we said that will be s squared plus 3s. We now put in this, which is s, <coughs> s plus 7 and s minus 4. We have s plus 7, s minus 4. And the second one, instead of s squared minus 2s minus 8, we put this factorized form, which is s minus 4 and s plus 2. Then the last one is here s minus 4 and s plus uh, 6s rather plus 13 then everything is equal to zero equal to zero looking at this we see that we have a common factor s minus 4 s minus 4 to factorize it now we root since it's under the square root we root s minus 4 as a common factor then bracket root we are left with s plus 7 here. And then plus, rather, if it's supposed to be plus. Plus root. Here we are left with s plus 2. Minus root 6s plus 13. Root 6s plus 13 equal to zero it's either root s minus four is equal to zero or this is root s plus seven plus root s plus two minus root six s plus thirteen equal to zero in the first one to clear this radical we need to square both sides i have root s minus four square equal to zero square and here that means i'll have s minus four equal to zero so zero squares to zero and when we square a radical the square root will be gone that means s equal to four in this first one let's do the same thing in this one if root s plus 7 plus root s plus 2 minus root 6x plus 13 equal to 0 i can write this as root s plus 7 plus root s plus 2 equal to taking this to the other side root 6s square uh, 6s plus 13 right now. now i'm going to square both sides so that root s plus 7 plus root s plus 2 squared is equal to root 6s plus 13 squared again if i square this right hand side the square root will be done but on the left hand side, since we have two radical here, let me expand it. So I have root s plus 7 plus root s plus 2 times root s plus 7 plus root s plus 2 equal to 6s plus 13. Again, this root s plus 7 times root s plus 7 is s plus 7. Then root s plus 7 times root s plus 2 will be root s plus 7 root s plus 2. And this times this again will be again root 
एस प्लस सेवन रूट एस प्लस टू एल रूट एस प्लस टू डैश रूट एस प्लस टू इस एस प्लस टू इक्वल टू सिक्स एस प्लस थर्टी दिस एंड दिस कैन बी एडेड टुगेदर तो इफ वी एड देम टुगेदर ओ हाउ एस Okay, let me add this and this to this s and this s. Yes, I have two s. Then this seven and this two will give me nine. Then this and this added together will give me two bracket root s plus seven root s plus two equal to six s plus thirteen. So that. Collecting line terms between here and here, I'll have two s minus six s plus nine minus thirteen and plus two bracket root s plus seven root s plus two equal to zero. Two s minus six s is minus four s. Plus nine minus thirteen. Nine minus thirteen is minus four. Minus four. N plus two bracket root s plus seven root s plus two equal to zero. I think I will need to move this again to the other side. I have two bracket root. S plus seven root S plus two equal to four S plus four. Um, four S plus four. Four is common there. I have two bracket root S plus seven root S plus two equal to four S plus one. We're dividing through by two. By two, I have root s plus seven root s plus two equal to two bracket s plus one. So that root s plus seven times root s plus two equal to two s. Okay, from our knowledge of sort, we know that uh, root a times root a, for example, is root a times a. So let me combine this in a single square root instead of having them separately. So that I will have root s plus seven and s plus two equal to two s plus two. Let me just square it right away to clear this radical. Okay, so squaring both sides, I will clear this so that I have s plus seven and s plus two equal to two s plus two times two s plus two. S plus seven. S times s is s squared. Then s times two is two s. Seven times s is seven s. Seven times two fourteen. Equal to two s times two s is four s squared. Then four x or two s rather times this is four x. Times this again four s. Then two times two four. Okay, I'm getting it gradually. S square plus this plus this is nine x plus fourteen equal to four s square plus eight x plus four. Collecting line terms. Now, let me move the free expression here. since this is bigger than this. Let me move it to the other side so that I'll have zero. I want to move everything. 
equal to 4 x square minus x square plus 8x minus 9x plus 4 minus 14. Okay, 0 is equal to 3x squared. 8 minus 9 is minus x, then minus 10. Okay, that means 3x squared minus x minus 10 is equal to 0. That is the case. You can factorize that again. Um, to do this, I'll look for two factors of 30, negative 30, x squared, that can give me this middle term negative x. So that will be negative 6x and 5x. When we have negative 6x and 5x together, we should have negative x. So I'm going to replace this middle term. I have 3x squared minus 6x plus 5. x minus 10 equal to 0. Factorizing the first term then. 3 into x minus 2. Then plus here 5 is common. x minus 2 equal to 0. I mean x minus 2 equal to 0, either s minus 2 is equal to 0, or 3s plus 5 equal to 0, s is equal to 2, or 3s equal to negative 5, then s equal to 2, or dividing both sides by 3 here, or s equal to negative 5 over now we have one value earlier, which is s equal to, where is it, s equal to 4, so, yeah, s equal to 4, so, therefore, the three values of x are, uh, s equal to 4, or 2, or negative 5, over 3. Now, I don't want to make this video too long. It's too long already. So on my own, I have checked for these two values here. By substituting the values into the equation above. And I discover that these two values do not satisfy the equation. The only value that satisfies the equation is S equal to 4. Therefore, our answer is s equal to 4. These two are extraneous solutions. And that is what I have for you in this video. I hope you found it useful. If you do, please like the video. And also subscribe to my channel so you get notified when I release a new video. Thank you.